Miss Libera and my llama man, the one who rides through here all day and night on that llama, talking to Libera. So obviously, he's the reason, she's the reason why he rides through here constantly, every day, all day long. All night long, all morning long. Yeah, she say, Miss Nikki say she tired of this. She wish it, it ain't gonna go away until it's over. I want her to come out and act, and so I can ask her why did she set up a surprise, surprise inspection from housing for tomorrow without me knowing anything about it? And did she make arrangements for another inspection? And since she hasn't repaired anything, when you've arranged an inspection for housing to come back out to do a surprise, um, I mean, inspection, that means you do repair some things. So why would she call housing to come out for an inspection? Well, she hasn't repaired anything. So, Yeah, so why would she call for a, a reinspection? And she has not repaired anything. So she set up a appointment for a reinspection. And I tried to set up another one for them to come back out on my and my convenience. And they tell me that I can't set up a reinspection time. She has to set it up. Because she knows my house is in disorder, in disarray. Of course she does. Because she's the cause of it, being in disarray. No, let me go show you what she still hasn't repaired. Now, as you know, the house is in disarray. And uh, they told me they was going to cut the water off today. But obviously they did not. But uh, since she called an inspection to come back out for re-inspection, how did, was she going to pass inspection with them pipes and that rotted wood in mold it's still going to be the same they haven't repaired or taken out this rotted wood and mold so how is she being prepared for a re-inspection really so what was the arterial motive for reinspection when the floors haven't still been fixed. That still hasn't been fixed. The dishwasher's still broke. The laundry room is still nasty. The towel still hasn't been fixed in the bathroom. She still hasn't replaced or fixed the carpet. So why would she want a reinspection? Why would she want 
the inspectors to come out and do a reinspection. Now, as I told you, for that water bill that she says is four hundred and fifty dollars. See this water? See that water? And the mold. I've been running this water for almost two months now. So, the bill is supposed to be more than $450, isn't it? So, I'm already trying to make it noise, maybe. But, but why would she call for a reinspection? Why would she call for a reinspection? What are they supposed to do? Are they supposed to not notice? This stuff that's in this apartment, not fit. Really? So, uh, there had to be. And why would housing come out and not notify me that they were coming out ahead of time? Why would I get this mysterious call today telling me they were coming out? Well, we know what that housing situation is about, don't we? But I told them. Because even if they had came out tomorrow, I was going to open up the door. They can't make me open up my apartment door. Nobody uh, told me there was going to be an inspection ahead of time. So I don't have to open my door. Oh, even if I do, I don't have to let them in. So... That was the waste. That was the bust. Billings for the again. See how the tires zooming past you? They show sure trying to get on. All this traffic for this to be just a simple residential block. It's like an expressway. Let me see who I hear this on the radio. Oh, my neighbor's in the corner again. But, uh, a surprise inspection tomorrow. And my house will be in shambles. On purpose. But she hasn't repaired anything. But I, I bet you what they would have done, what they would have failed me, said I had to move. And they wouldn't have looked at anything that she has not repaired. They would have come in here taking photographs. But that plan was full. It will always be full. She will never get the upper hand on me. She's tried over and over and over again. She will never get the upper hand on me. <sighs> if these criminals were smart, they wouldn't be in the business they are in today. They had to just thought this plan out with the new world order. None of these countries can get along with each other. All the, even the rich people can get along with each other. Everybody won't what everybody else got. So how was that plan gonna work in the first place? How was there gonna be peace with this new world order? Order with the new world order with this, when there's no order now. Nothing but chaos. It would have still been chaos. This would not be a world. No. I guess they're just going to sit there. This would not be a world that anybody with any sense would want to live. Well, even by, with, with, without any sense would not like to live in this kind of environment. And as with that ink on that paper that they pass it back and forth, you can bet the mailman is touching, the mail uh, postman are touching that ink, that paper, because they don't have gloves. You can bet the people that's uh, passing that paper on to us don't have gloves. So this nano ink that's in there put in our system, it's like a chain reaction. It's passing through them, from them, handling the paper, each person that handling that paper is going to be contaminated. Do those nanobots 
know each uh, person named that they're infected? Of course not. Anybody to touch them is infected. Well, let me go ahead and finish. Go on and pat my celery up so I can be hydrated to make some powdered celery. So I can use it in preserving meats. A new video I found. I'll let you guys in on that later. All right. Love you guys. God bless you. Bye-bye.